Hi guys, Alan from Newlands Pets. Hope you are well, and this is episode 30 of Ask Alan. So let's get to the questions. Question one, do you have any treats that do not have chicken in them? Uh, this is so, so common question. Um, and it doesn't have to, I mean, this person's asked specifically about chicken. It doesn't have to be about chicken. It could be, do you have any treats that don't have beef in them and so on and so forth. We have loads and loads of treats that don't have specific proteins in them. And particularly chicken, we've got loads. We've got some that are just beef, we've got some that are just lamb, some that are just rabbit and so on and so forth. And if it's proteins you're worried about, we even have some treats that are just vegetables. Um, so that would really, really work if you're not entirely sure. You think maybe there's a protein issue, but you're not entirely sure what that issue is. Um, they'd work really, really well. So yeah, we've got plenty of treats without chicken in them. Um, and we can definitely point you in the right direction. Question two, do I have to feed wet food? Now this was actually asked in store um, to myself a couple of Saturdays ago, um, and it was someone who was feeding uh, dry food, um, but they'd been told or had grown up, I can't remember exactly, um, that they have to feed wet food alongside dry food. Now if you're feeding a complete dry food, which everything we sell here is complete, and the majority of dry foods these days are complete, then you don't have to add anything to it at all. Maybe a little bit of water, and you want to make sure there's always water around when you're feeding your dog. But you don't have to feed wet food. It was very, very common that people used to feed a bit of dry food alongside wet food. That was the traditional way of feeding those types of foods. Um, but these days, the majority of people don't feed wet, side, wet food alongside dry. Um, and even if you do, it's not a problem to do it, but you definitely don't have to. Um, so don't worry if you're only feeding dry food, you can definitely do that as long as it's a complete food. Question three, can my dog have Christmas dinner? Um, I'm guessing you're talking about human Christmas dinner. So we do uh, doggy Christmas dinner uh, in various different brands. The new dog has got one, our own brand, um, plus there's others uh, that we do as well. So we do loads of specific dog Christmas dinners, but I'm guessing you're talking about the Christmas dinner that uh, you or I are gonna be eating on Christmas day. Um, the short answer is probably, if you don't want to risk anything, I really wouldn't. Um, we don't advocate giving um, human food to dogs at all, not food that's specific for humans. And the reason being is, um, there's so many things in our diet that really aren't going to agree with a dog, and in some cases are poisonous to dogs. Um, a great example of that is onions, um, and you'll find onion granules in so many different things, gravy being the most common one on a Christmas dinner. Um, but bear in mind that there might be something in there that's not going to be do good for your dog. And after Christmas, we always, always get people either messaging us or coming into store and saying their dog had an upset stomach over the Christmas period um, because someone gave them stuff from the table. Um, so bear that in mind, you don't, really don't want to be doing that on, on Boxing Day. Um, so if it was me, I'd stay clear of it. It's completely up to you, obviously, but if it was me, I'd stay clear of it and just get them a specific Christmas dinner for dogs. There's loads out there. And that concludes all the questions for episode 30. Thank you for sending them in. Um, and yeah, thank you very much. We love answering the questions. Um, so make sure you get your questions in. See you soon.